Welcome to patellofemoral joint practice problem. How much force acts on the patellofemoral joint when the quadriceps exert 300 newtons of tension and the angle alpha between the quadriceps and the patellar tendon is A, 160 degrees, and B, 90 degrees? What are the directions of these forces? First, let's clarify what is what. The quadriceps is a muscle drawn up here. The patellar tendon is down below the patella, which is the kneecap. Given the angle between the quadriceps and the patellar tendon, alpha, we are trying to find the force acting on the joint. You may expect that this force acts somewhat inward towards the joint along a horizontal line crossing the joint. We have two unknown force components for force at the joint and we can use the two force balance equations. We can add the horizontal component of both Fm and Ft and set them equal to zero. Independent for the angle between the two, their x components will be their values times the cosine of alpha divided by two. But hey, notice how this means the tension exerted by the quadriceps must equal the tension exerted by the patellar tendon? In this case, this means they both equal 300 newtons. Notice that the way the system is set up, we have symmetry about the dashed line. We end up not having a vertical component for the joint force. Or, guess we could say that the vertical component is zero. To find the force at the joint, we just need to add the two force vectors. Since they are equal, we can say Fj equals 2Fm. The joint force is equal then to its x component. To find it, we can set 2 times fm times the cosine of alpha over 2. For part a, when alpha equals 160 degrees, we can solve for the joint force using the equation we found. We end up getting fj equals 104.19 newtons. For part b, when alpha equals 90 degrees, Using the same equation, we end up getting Fj equals 424.26 newtons. We didn't even have to decrease the angle by one half to get an increase in force that is four times higher. As we decrease the angle between the quadriceps and the patellar tendon, the force exerted on the joint really increases. So make sure you rest your legs now, and I will see you next time.